Here's Milky, the marvelous milking cow. It's fun to milk her, gonna do it right now. She drinks the water when we pump her tail. She's raising her head, it's milking time now. Her pretend milk is a feeling the pail. She drinks water, I guess pretend milk. Milky, the marvelous milking cow. Milky, the marvelous milking cow with pretend milk tablets. She's from Kenner. What's this stuff? Some cereal. It's supposed to be good for you. Did you try it? I'm not going to try it. You try it. I'm not going to try it. Let's get Mikey. Yeah. He won't need it. He hates everything. He likes it. Hey, Mikey. There are two kinds of life cereals to please all kinds of kids. Regular life and cinnamon life. Make life cereals part of your nutritious breakfast. Employees of Mr. Fuddy, who refuses to believe in the Galloping Ghost. <laughs> You're out! And lots of little crunchies. With a taste so chocolatey. Nestle's ah. hundred thousand dollar bar. If you like chewy, chewy caramel, mixed together with a fun crunch of crispy rice and a delicious chocolatey taste, too. This is your caramel bar. That's a hundred thousand dollar bar. That's the name, kids. They may look insane, kids. This is KISS, each sold separately, and you can put them in any crazy pose you want. Kiss. That's the name, KISS, they may look insane, KISS, if rocks your game, it's KISS. KISS, each 12 and a half inch figure sold separately, by Mego. Just what is the meaning of this, young lady? Easy 
see, Mr. Fuddy. Wendy didn't do anything. Aha! Uh -huh. So it was you. No, Mr. Fuddy, it was... It, it was... Well, you know. Oh, don't tell me it was ghosts. That's right. Oh, I told you not to tell me that. How many times must I repeat it? Ghosts don't exist on Fenwick Fuddy's guest ranch. <laughs> Especially that one. I mean... Oh, why am I talking to you? I must be losing my mind. Don't worry, Fuddy Duddy. You can't lose what you don't have. <laughs> oh, you fuzzy-faced little ball of fog. Wait till I get my hands on you. Oh, I'll get you. I'll get you, you... you, you, you. Let's get back to the ranch. 
now that we've got Kate to go along with the plan, keep your fingers crossed. The old jealousy trick. Oh, boy. Oh, one of our ranch guests, I presume. And what are you doing, little lady? Well, I thought a row of flowers would look nice planted along this fence. I got some flower seeds here. Oh, how thoughtful. Free seeds. <laughs> well, allow me, dear lady. Okay, now, Wendy. Hey, Nuggie. Buddy's with Kate, and he thinks she's cute. They're out in the yard digging for your loot. Well, I'll be hornswoggled if that old fuddy-duddy turkey ain't cutting in on Miguel. See? Kate's holding a map, and Buddy's digging for your gold. Why, that soggy sock of sorghum ain't taking my gold, either. Well, so much for your last guess. Plan. Now what? It's not over yet. Come on, it's showdown time. The gall of that coyote. This map has got to be a phony. Oh, you're jealous, you impetuous boy. I've dug up every inch around this ranch, and if I could read, I could tell you this map's a fake. I think a swing is um, romantic, don't you, Rita? Yeah, for proposing. That is what you're doing down on your knee, isn't it, Nuggy? Proposing to Kate? Oh, there you go again, ganging up on me. Well, you could at least try. You know we can't for Kate. Oh, that rascal's run off and left Kate again. <laughs> Good girl, Winnie. I see you're still jealous of the women's. <laughs> Thank goodness for good fingers. Uh, repairing fences, those girls' jobs. Must I do everything around here? Look out for that heap up ahead, Winnie! I didn't see that. I didn't hear that. <laughs> Well, I guess you're used to Nucky running off like this by now, aren't you, Kate? She's gone, Wendy. Yep, gone. After her man. Well, here we go again. Oh, boy. Keep on running, Nucky. There's a church just around the bend, and I'm hog-tying you this time. Hello there. Ben? Ben Kenobi? I was once a Jedi Knight, the same as your father. You must learn the ways of the Force. Obi-Wan is here. The Force is with him. Star Wars. Rated PG. Parental guidance suggested. Now playing at a theater near you. Cheerios! Gotcha! Cheerios, crunchy toasted Oteos, the tasty way to round out this complete breakfast. Cheerios! When you want a great taste of Cheerios, just Cheerios. Cheerios! Did you know Cheerios has bike stickers? Yeah? Bike stickers for super looking bikes, snazzy skateboards, or colorful notebooks. There's one set free in specially marked Cheerios boxes. Six sets in all. We're at Monster Stadium. Frankenberry steps to the plate. I'll fill it with my delicious strawberry-flavored cereal, Frankenberry. Your own! A nutritious breakfast with my Count Chocula is a bigger hit. Frankenberry. Count Chocula. Both you guys are very... <laughs> it's a monster door knocker you can put together. And write in your name. What is it for? To stick on your door. Even invent a funny game. Guess what I did with mine. <laughs> One in specially marked boxes of the Monster Cereals. Here comes Mueller. Beats me why old Jeb Crowley likes living all by himself in this swamp, Cindy May. He just has a hankering for peace and quiet, Woody. Guess we're about the only visitors he ever had. 
I kind of enjoy these Saturday trips to bring him his groceries. I know what you enjoy. It's that shoe fly pie he always bites for. <laughs> shoe fly pie? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh-huh. And so does Buford. Undone. He's too fussy. The way I figured, he must have gone fishing as usual after supper, and something happened. An accident, maybe? Could be. It's getting dark. We better notify the sheriff. Sheriff? Sure. <laughs> oh, come on, Buford. He's really a nice sheriff. Oh, all right. Sheriff, sure. looky here. You know those Scroggins boys got busted out of state prison yesterday? They were spotted heading this way. Will you give me that and get rid of that people? Yes, sir. I've been expecting them no good swamp rats to come back. I sent them to prison myself for bank robbing about ten years ago. Hi. Think they're coming after you, Sheriff sure Mule Train? Well, they're mean enough, but I figure they're more interested in the loot they stashed away. Loot? Uh-huh. A bank safe containing a quarter million dollars. Whoa! Wait! Hey, Sheriff! We want to report a missing person. Who's missing? Jeb Crowley. That old coot? His boat's gone, and he didn't even come home last night. Now, now, kids. Old Jeb knows every foot of that swamp. Ain't likely he's in trouble. But, Sheriff... Listen, kids. The sheriff's got important things to do. Like catching those two scallywags who busted out of state prison. The most evil, nasty, and ugly characters you'll ever see. Huh? Give me that. That's a picture of my kids. Who for? Oh. Excuse me. They're the ones. Billy and Luke Scroggins, both of them mean of the swamp gator. <laughs> Why, Billy and Luke stole a bank safe with a quarter million dollars in it, and it ain't never been found. A quarter million dollars? Wow. Now, I don't want you two getting any ideas about messing this here case. You leave the Scroggins boys to me. You can have them, Sheriff. All we want to do is find our friend, Jeb Crowley. That's right. Come on, Woody. We got some searching to do. Jeb's favorite fishing hole's right around here, Cindy Mae. I can hardly see a thing in this fog. Hey, what's that? Well, that's Jeb's boat, but it's empty. Okay. Maybe he did have an accident. He had something, that's for sure. This oar's broken. Well, looks like there's been a struggle. And his fishing nets are gone. <laughs> Look, Buford found Jeb's cap. Well, that proves he didn't just fall overboard. You reckon somebody on another boat grabbed him? Could be. But why'd anybody bother a poor old hermit like Jeb? Beats me, sis. Come on, Woody. We better do some more looking and fast. Right, let's go. There's something going on over there. Uh -huh. Buford's picked up something, Cindy Mae. I see it. It's a bigger boat than ours. Looks like there's two men aboard. Let's sneak in real quiet, like, and see what they're up to. Okay. Please, Cindy May, look. It's those convicts that broke out of prison. Or E.B. Looks like they're dragging the bottom for something. And I bet I know what. Oh, no. The moon's coming out. And you know how the moon affects Buford. 
Don't you do it, Buford. Hey! What's that? Looks like some kids in a boat with a bloodhound. Well, I seen us. Come on, after us. They're coming after us, Woody. Stomp on it. We're catching up. Buford says they're catching up. Well, we can't outrun them. Head for those trees up ahead. Here they come. I've got an idea. Buford, make like an alligator. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gators! Let's get out of here! Hey, good going, Buford. Oh, shut it weren't nothing. <laughs> I'll bet anything that old Jeb spotted those convicts, too, and they grabbed him like they tried to grab us. That's what happened. Old Jeb's in big trouble. And there's no time to call the sheriff. Well, I guess it's all up to Buford. Oh, it is. Take a good whip of old Jeb's cap, Buford. We gotta find him, and fast. Oh, he's on us up. Let's go. I'm getting worried, Luke. What if them kids sick the sheriff on us? Simmer down, Billy. Those kids don't know nothing about us. Besides, I ain't leaving this swamp till we find what we come for. Judging by Buford, old Jeb can't be far away. <laughs> Golly, it's old Jeb. All tied up in a fishing net. Take it easy, Jeb. We'll get you down. Hold on. I think we hit it. For sure. Yeah. It's the safe. Yeah, hot dang. We got ourselves a quarter million dollars. I saw those lights from their boat and recognized them as the two convicts. Then what happened? Then they both said how they was gonna dredge up a safe with a quarter million in cash that was hid in the swamp. Well, then we've got to stop them. We want to make off that safe. I've got an idea. Come on, we'll give those robbers a surprise. Now, Woody and I'll get those convicts to chase us back here. And you'll be waiting for them right up there with your net. Ain't you kids taking an awful change? Don't worry, Jeff. We know Pinocchio Swamp a lot better than those bank robbers do. Easy does it. We did it! There they are! Nice going, Buford! Hey! It's them nosy kids again! They spotted us, Woody! Let's run for it! They won't get away this time! Their bolt's bigger and faster than ours! Don't I know it! This idea better work! We're closing in on fast. They ain't got a chance. <laughs> and me are...
<laughs> there you are, my very best shoe fly pie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do love your pie, Jim. <laughs> Who will be coming to your hometown? Who but your favorite hamburger clown? There will be lots of fun, good times for everyone with Ronald. Ronald McDonald. Bring the whole family and enjoy a great day with Ronald McDonald today at the Summerfest in downtown Marion, Indiana. Put your two hands out for a dig em smack. Dig em. Watch a bowl appear like that. Kellogg's Sugar Smack. Dig em. Toast the wheat on a smack and good breakfast. Kellogg's Sugar Smack. Dig em. Hi, Dad. Morning. Hey, what's that frog doing? Deep sea diving. How deep is it? Knee deep. <laughs> Kellogg's Sugar Smack. Dig'em. Make a part of your good breakfast. Kellogg's Sugar Smack. That's a dig'em smack. I like to take a ride very high in the sky with my three musketeers. I can't get far without my fluffy chocolate bar. Three musketeers. Luscious chocolatey nougat whipped up and out. Mmm. Then covered in real milk chocolate for that light, fluffy taste that gives your spirits a lift. No matter what's around, that's where I can be found with my three musketeers. Superhero Mighty Man. Boo -boo, boo -boo. Hi there. And Yuck, the world's ugliest dog. Hiya, folks. <laughs> no! oh, geez, they don't make clocks the way they used to. It's Mighty Man and Yuck. That's us. No! no! Don't lift them! I told you not to lift your hat. My favorite day. Here's your present. My favorite drink. Nestle Quick Chocolate Flavor. Gee, now that I'm a big bunny, I know I can drink it slow. I don't know, bunny. Nestle Quick is rich and thick and chocolate. That's the thing about birthdays and quick. They both go so fast. <laughs> This is Cindy. She's new from Mark's Toys. Cindy can be a friend. Here's Cindy's Pretend dining room. Cindy's sold separately. Friend. Where shall you go next? What shall you do? Whatever it is, she can be there with you. Sharing's nice, there's so much to do. Cindy's and dining room set. Cindy sold separately. Part of Cindy's world from Mark's. Two more jumps, and I will have the world's mightiest warrior. <laughs> Get ready to dig into some delicious Chinese food, Yuck. Try a shrimp, old pal. I'll try anything once, within reason. Yuck, be careful. That mustard sauce is awfully hot. Oh, come on, Brandon. How hot can it be? <laughs> Yuck, your doghouse! Water! Water! Boy, a little of that hot sauce goes a long way! It's the hotline! <laughs> 
Mighty Man here. Dr. Locust has stolen a Chinese junk. We think he's on his way to our city. Dr. Chen at the Chinese Museum will fill you in. We're on our way, Mayor. I'll get the Mighty Machine. To the museum, yuck. Emperor Khan of China once owned this junk and two more. It is said that whoever brings the three junks together will own the world's mightiest warrior. The first junk stolen tonight was one of the three. Stand back, you fools! Boo 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 boo! Dr. Locust! That little pest is straining the whole system. Fighting this thing is a... Oof. My mighty master's letting things pile up on him. I better get Dr. Locust. Good thing I have two claws. I'll get the junk and take off. I'm coming to get you, you flying cockroach. <laughs> A slight inconvenience, but back to normal now. Now I've got to get that fishing junk. Dr. Locust is playing rough. Well, I can play rough, too. Now, the second junk is mine. Once I have the third junk, no one will ever be able to stop me. <laughs> Dr. Locust is escaping! I gotta tell Mighty Man! Oh, Mighty Master! Are you okay? Okay, I'm okay, Yuck Boy! Where's Dr. Locust? He's gone! Split! Vanished! Nowheresville! Gone, gone! Bye-bye! So on! Dr. Locust got away with the second junk! And there's only one left now! It's at Chung's Chinese restaurant! Come on, Yuck! We better get to that restaurant! Now that we've cleared everybody out, let's find a place to hide so we can surprise Dr. Locust. How about the kitchen? That way we can snack while we hide. Oh boy, a fortune cookie stuffing machine. <laughs> I wonder how it works. Save that for later, Yuck. Right now, look for a hiding place. But I think I figured out how it works. See? Hey! Yuck, look what you've got us into. Well, look at it this way, mighty man. We found the perfect place to hide. Now for the fair junk. Hey, M.M., I'm getting a little feedback. That's because our plan is working, Yuck. If I'm right, Dr. Locust is taking this junk to his hideout right now. Wow! Look at that! That explains the old saying. The Great Khan must have built a huge warrior robot. And to keep the robot a secret, he took it apart and hid the parts by disguising them as junks. <laughs> Mine at last. Soon the Great Khan's robot will be in my control! <laughs> I wouldn't say that, Locust. No, I wouldn't say that, Locust. Mighty man and yuck! Let's get him! Your word is my command! You'll never catch me! She! Who put that there? Well, at least this doggy can keep an eye on that robot! Those fumes making me drowsy. Those sulfur fumes should take care of that problem. Now for the mutt. Yuck, two, three, four. Yuck, two, three, four. Yuck, two, three, four. Hey! Hey! What's happening? I've captured you, that's what. And now I'll take care of you. Wait! 
the condemned doggy gets one last request. Let me read one fortune cookie. All right, but make it quick. Hmm. Success will come to you successfully. So much for your fortune. Now for your doom. Oh, wait, there's more. A bird in the hand can be messy. You will meet the dog of your dreams. Happiness will be found at Murphy's Pool Hall. He who goes... Enough! I'll finish my robot, and he'll finish you. She, I hope Mighty Man shows up soon. Gotta get my mighty springs. It worked. Still sleepy. Got to get to yuck. Finished. With my mighty warrior, I can master the world. Now for the first test, I'll get that mutt. Birds of a feather look alike. Yuck, where are you? Mighty man. Can't stay awake. Still too sleepy. Gotta find Yuck. Mighty man, mighty man, wake up. It's me, your old buddy Yuck. Don't you remember this face? You remembered. Thanks. I needed that. I didn't think I'd ever say that about his face. You're through, mighty man and yuck. Boo 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 boo. We've got to stop that robot. Don't worry, yuck. I'll get you. I feel like a shrimp, and I don't mean the fishy kind. I can get that robot with this contraption. You might as well give up, Locust. Why should I, Peter Squeak? Stand back, mighty man. I'll take care of this overgrown pile of junk. Does that mutt think he can stop me? Yo Yuck! Are you okay? <laughs> now I've got you, mighty man! I've got to pump up the balloon and save my tiny master. Good thing I brought my raft pump. Oops! I forgot the pump was still attached to my raft. And there goes my house! Come back, housey! That's Yuck's house. But where's Yuck? Hey! Give me my house! <laughs> Gotta get Yuck's house back on fast. Got it, M.M. But look, Dr. Locust is getting away. Don't worry, old pal. Boo 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 boo. I'll stop him. Leave me alone, mighty man. Boo 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 boo. All yours, yuck. He yow. We'll leave you alone, Dr. Locust. Alone in a jail cell. Yuck, my enthusiastic doggy. That's the 500th fortune cookie you've eaten. And don't forget, 17 helpings of our Chinese dinner. Well, Yuck, I'm going to Betty Bye. But how are you going to get around like that? Well, I didn't practice my basketball for nothing. <laughs> I used to play center. <laughs> Where am I? The jungle. The jungle? Me without grub. I'll starve. Mr. Mole, don't despair of fruitful breakfasts in the air. Follow your nose. Yahoo! It always knows the flavor of fruit. I smell oranges, lemons, and cherry. Kellogg's Fruit Loop Cereal. Real natural flavors. Start out with a good breakfast, including Kellogg's Fruit Loops. Follow your nose. These Fruit Loops are good, but you're a funny-looking chicken. It's the Play-Doh Fuzzy Pumper Barber and Beauty Shop. Sit right down, crank up the chair as Daddy grows his Play-Doh hair. Shave and a haircut. Next, please. 
Brother needs a little off the top in the fuzzy plumper barber shop. We'll fix mommy's hair just so you can make it with Play-Doh. The Play-Doh Fuzzy Plumper Barber and Beauty Shop from Kenner. a little corny, my man. I'll just tip my hat to the folks. Yuck, no! Thank you, thank you, thank you one and all. Shh. A puppet of stone. Mine to command. But she's only the first. We must assemble the rest of my gang. Statues are man's greatest works of art. You will endure long after the humans have passed into time. By right, the city should belong to you. We shall drive the humans from this city and create a city of stone to last as long as we. <laughs> Oh, oh, boy, I've had enough exercise. Mighty man, this dumbbell is getting very heavy. Keep at it anyway, Yuck. They don't build statues to flabby superheroes. Uh-oh, it's the hotline. Yes, Mayor. Mighty man here. Emergency, Mighty man. An Amazon warrior is melting down the city bank. We're on our way, Mayor. Say no more. Time for the mighty machine. No, Yuck, no! He was already mighty man. <laughs> what have I done? Forgive me, forgive me. I'll make it all better, I promise. Mighty, mighty, mighty man. You're safe and sound. Oh, joy beyond comparison. No time for kisses now, yuck. To the bank. The bank's melting like butter, mighty man. That woman has a heart of stone. She's got a whole body of stone. She's a statue. Sorry, ma'am. Gotta put a stop to this heat wave. Marble Man, it's Mighty Man and Yuck. 
Do not fear. My gang will deal with them harshly. Mighty man, look out! Gargoyle at nine o'clock! Release him, you three-toed flying fiend! Yeesh! Yeesh! Since when did crime become a track and field event? Now look here, you! These temperamental athletes just can't take criticism. You're applying too much pressure, pretty boy. Ease up. Boo -boo 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 -boo. Just give a yell when you've had enough. Don't worry, mighty man. I'll catch it. I won't let that valuable statue break. Over there, yuck. That big brute can only be Marble Man. They won't stop me. Mighty Man, I've been stopped by the Glop. Your pooch is in peril, Mighty Man. My doggy. Hurry, Mighty Man! <laughs> They got away! Don't worry, Yuck. I have a feeling we'll see them again. Mighty Man and Yuck nearly ruined my plans, but we won't give them that opportunity again. <laughs> Otter, drive us to the town square. We'll need two new members for my gang. <laughs> No sign of Marble Man anywhere. Not even a pebble. Boo -boo 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 -boo. What can I do for you, Mayor? Bad news, Mighty Man. The statue of you and Yuck has been stolen. The thieves left a note. If you want your statue, send Mighty Man and Yuck to Skull Mesa at midnight alone. Skull Mesa in the desert? Don't fret, Mayor. We'll be there. This could be a trap, Yuck. But there's no one here except you and me. Wrong, M.M. Our statues are here, too. Boo, 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 boo. My statue's moving. Boo, 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 boo. Him. He's exactly as strong as I am. Unhand him, you carbon copy creep! <laughs> Stop the music! Stop the music! I'm in no condition to dance. Yuck! Sit this one out. Boo 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 boo! It's time for the mighty machine. All uh, right, Double M. Thank you. It's been more than charming. Full power, Yuck. Aim for the statue. Boo, boo, boo. <laughs> Are they statues again, Mighty Man? Not exactly, Yuck. Well, they'll make someone a wonderful driveway. <laughs> Boy, that phone never stops ringing. What now, Mayor? Hurry, Mighty Man. Marble Man is melting down the whole city. Keep him in sight, Mayor. We're coming. With Mighty Man and Yuck out of the way, we have triumphed. Now, Otter... You must lead the humans out of the city forever. Nobody's going anywhere, Marble Man. Except maybe to jail. <laughs> You're gonna go to jail. <laughs> you take care of the little lady, Yuck. I'll deal with Marble Man personally. But I can't fight with a girl. Yo! She 
she's tougher than she looks. You cannot stop me, mighty man. I am stone. I am stronger than any human. You're definitely louder. I'll hand you that. Really now, miss? Can't we discuss this? Yes! I've always been irresistible to women who... I'll crush you yet, mighty man! With what? You're all out of boulders. Well, I guess that wraps it up, huh, mighty man? Almost, but not quite, Yuck. You've restored all those statues, mighty man, but how will we restore those melted buildings? Oh, leave that to me, Mayor. You see, my uncle was in the Canine Corps, and he taught me this himself. Attention! Gosh, I could have been Colonel with that yell. Well, maybe Private Third Class. <laughs> maybe First Class. <laughs> Space Glider, Hydrocopter, from the Micronaut Collection, Biotron and Hydrocopter need assembly. All have interchangeable parts. A few changes and Hydrocopter is a paddle boat or a one-man cruiser. You can combine it with Biotron and build your own toy, like these. Batteries for Biotron and Hydrocopter not included. Hydrocopter, Biotron, and Space Glider, all sold separately by Miko. Munch a bunch 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 of free toast go with lunch. Munch a bunch 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 of free toast go with lunch. Nothing gives your old lunch a munchy new twist like Fritos brand corn chips. So munchy, so full of good corn taste. Munch a bunch 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 of free toast go with lunch. Fritos makes lunch munch better. He's the marvelous, magical Burger King. I doubt he'll do a single thing. It's the Duke of Dow. I'll take his cane and prove to you that magic isn't really true. Well, watch me, Duke, when I twist my ring. I doubt we'll get to Burger King. Hey, hey, wait for me. I love magic and food that's fun. I doubt it. He's a everyone. Burger King, yay! No doubt about it, Duke. Morning, Bob. Okay, if I show my friends where we keep the secret formula? Oh, sure, but keep your voices down, because we've just put in a new sound-sensitive alarm. Right, uh, right. Well, there's the formula for my secret frosting. Wow! It makes Kellogg's Sugar Frosted Flakes cereal a delicious part of your good breakfast. Taste it for yourself. The secret taste of Frosted Flakes makes Tony say... They're great! <laughs> Gosh, I didn't mean to alarm anybody. Fang face! Every 400 years, a baby werewolf is born into the Fangsworth family. And so, when the moon shined on little Sherman Fangsworth, he changed into Fang face! The werewolf! Only the sun can change him back to normal. And so, little Fangs grew up and teamed up with three daring teenagers, Kim, Biff, and Pugsy. And together they find danger, excitement, and adventure. Who can 
save the day? Who can wrong the rights and right the wrongs? None other than Fang Face! Where are you going, Tony? Look at Diggle, laugh! Diggle the dog, Diggle, he goes with you when you explore. Just pull his leash and go for a walk. He's your dog, for sure. What's your dog's name? Dig the dog, dig it, he goes with you when you explore. Just pull his leash, go for a walk, he's your dog for sure. Digger the dog from Rumber Room. It's the new Star Wars lightsaber from Kenner. Inflation required, batteries not included. You can pretend you have powers when you switch on Kenner's Star Wars lightsaber. Ready to feel the force? Switch on your Star Wars lightsabers, close your eyes and go! I got it! Me too! Zach, you passed the test! The Force is with you! The Star Wars lightsaber, new from Kenner. Balloons not included. There it is, gang! The Grand Canyon. And tomorrow morning, we start a relaxing weekend of rock hunting. And tonight, we hunt for a campsite to find a place to sleep. Yeah, you, me, and Biff, but not Fangs. He's already found a place to sleep. Good old Fangs. He's the heaviest sleeper in the world. And the snoriest. Yow! We're right in the middle of an earthquake. Yeah, and the whole road splitting apart in front of us. Yikes! Look! It's a prehysterical dinosaurus. Oh my gosh, that's a gigantic Tyrannosaurus Rex. And they've been extinct for millions of years. Yeah? Well, this extinct one is wide awake and moving off into the canyon. And we're going after him. Rise and shine. We got a prehistorical misadventure on our hands. Hmm? Yeah, what's going on, huh, Pug? What? Uh, is it morning yet, huh? No, it ain't morning yet. See? The moon's out. Look. Oh no, what I say? Oh yeah, the moon! The moon. Ah! No, no! Gotcha! Let me out of here, you nutty werewolf! We're following a dinosaur! Ooh, ooh. Oh, sorry, Pug! I don't know why I do these things! Look! The dinosaur is crossing that wooden bridge to the next canyon. Step on it, Biff! We can't lose him! Hey! What's that Tyrannowatsasaurus is up to? Oh my gosh! He's chewing the bridge up! Our only chance is to use the tent as a parachute. Oh, famous! <laughs> I did good, huh? <laughs> I did good, hey, punch! Huh? Yeah, for once you did precisely right. Look, the dinosaurs vanished. Which means we'd better get back to town and report this to the authorities at the Science Institute. So we followed the dinosaur. And after he chewed up the bridge, we lost him somewhere in the canyons. A living Tyrannosaurus Rex in the 20th century? <laughs> Ridiculous! Absolutely impossible. What's your opinion, Professor Braniff? You're our leading dinosaur expert. A living Tyrannosaurus Rex is a remote possibility. 
There are theories about huge areas deep underground where dinosaurs may have hibernated millions of years ago. Uh, one of those underground caverns may have been cracked open by the earthquake, releasing the dinosaur. Well, gang, it looks like it's up to us to prove that giant creature really exists. And that means we're heading for dinosaur caverns. Dinosaur Caverns is big enough to be the home for 10,000 Tyrannosaurus. Did you hear that? It's him. Yeah, but like Fangface would ask, where, where, where? Yeah, just like I said, where, where, where? There's only one way to find out. We split up and search every inch of these caverns. Shh. We gotta be quiet, not a sound. Look, inside of that cave. Ooh, ooh, it's him. <laughs> Quick, get up that ledge and into that cave. Wait a minute, how come I gotta go first, huh? Because if I go first and get hurt, who's gonna visit you in the hospital? Oh, why didn't you say so in the first place? <laughs> so smart. And remember, shh, not a sound. Careful. We're getting close to him. Yikes! This is too close for comfort. I'll get him, pugs! Listen. That sounds like face. Do you give up? What's happening? Fangface is trying to wrestle down that 40-foot dinosaurus. <laughs> hey, Fangface, let go of that dinosaurus's leg and run for it. <laughs> ooh, ooh, and just when I had him. <laughs> now let's get until we get to the edge of that big pit up ahead, and then we'll use one of those fallen tree limbs to pole vault over it. On your mark, get set, vault! Yay! Somebody lassified us! He's coming after us! Let's get out of here! Kids of America, your best friend's a cow! Crazy cow! Oops. The nutritious cereal that makes chocolate-flavored milk! It's part of this complete breakfast. Just pour on milk, stir, and the milk starts to turn chocolatey! Crazy with cow crispy chocolate puffs and one frozen pop maker in specially marked boxes. Just pour in juice or your favorite drink, freeze, and our pops are frozen pop. Cow crazy with its own handle. Candy dandy. That's chocolate or strawberry crazy cow. Oh no! Wow! Aha! 
juice, toast milk, and delicious fruit flavor tricks. The right disguise will get me some. Welcome to Hawaii, Hawaii, Hawaii. We're fine. How are you? Mmm. Oh, thank you. Aloha tricks in raspberry red, lemon yellow, orange, orange. Woo! It's the rabbit. Silly rabbit. Oh. Tricks are for kids. Bum, bum. Mr. Socrates, what have you and the girls' clubs of America got in common? I can't imagine. Tell me. You're both program specialists. You for Butch and the Kids, and Girls Clubs of America for all girls from 6 to 18. Girls Clubs help girls of all races and backgrounds to better themselves through programs in education, recreation, community commitment, and cultural exchanges. Girls are what count most at Girls Clubs of America. And when we last saw the Tyrannosaurus, he was heading straight here toward town. And if that monster gets loose in the city, it's gonna mean big trouble. Yeah, big, big, big. <laughs> Unfortunately, I must leave for my home in the mountains, but I'll try to find a way to stop that dinosaur. What are they doing back here? It's all right, Dr. Ito. They're here to help me. Hey, as long as we're alone in this scientific laboratory, why don't we mix up a shrink formula and shrinkify that dinosaurus down to mouse size? Good idea. You and Fangface stay here and work on it. Kim and I'll work in the next lab. Mm -hmm. Four ounces sodium soda five. An ounce of protrassium bicarbitrate. A pint of reducing cream. A quart of brake fluid. The shrinkify is gone for sight. You better believe it. That wacky concoction shrunk us down to most size. <laughs> Yummy! A pudgy on rye. Oh no, he saw food and he's gonna eat a pub witch. No, fight face. Don't. You hear? Don't. <laughs> Now to calm you down. <laughs> Looks like Pugsy and Fangface did it. They invented a shrink formula. Yeah, and thanks to Fangface, we'll be pipsqueaks for life. Hey, what's happening? Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> ooh, that pickles. I guess their shrink formula is a flop rooney Yikes! It's him! Oh my gosh! The Tyrannosaurus is messing up the whole city! What do we do now, Biff? Over there. Look! A container of sleeping gas. It's our only chance. We've got to see if we can put the dinosaur to sleep. That's perfect. As soon as the dinosaur is under us, we'll lower Fangface down on this rope, and he'll spritz him with a sleeping gas. Hey, Dinosaurus! You don't scare me! Get ready to go Betty by in one of those sun deck lunges! Sun? No, that picture of the sun changed fearless fang face into fearful fangs. Help me! Okay, pull! Gee, guys, thanks for saving me. Eh, don't mention it. 
Look, the dinosaur is getting away. Come on. Our only hope is to get to Professor Brandoff's home and see if he can make Pugsy's shrink formula permanent. Ah! It's a giant dinosaur! He's wrecking the marina! And he's heading for Midtown Dam. If he wrecks that, he'll flood the whole city. Step on it, Biff. We gotta stop that monster. Oh, I'm not coming face to face with that thing again. You won't have to. Here, take a look at this picture of the moon, and you won't remember a thing. Huh? Try look at the moon. Where is he? Where'd he go? Where's that monster? Go oh, let me in. Let me in. Yeah, just remember, it's the monster you're after, and not me! Pugsy accidentally invented this shrink formula. It works, but it doesn't last. We figured you might be able to analyze it and find a way to make it permanent. It shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, wait here while I go to my lab and work on it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, looks like Fang Face could use our resistance. What we need is a dentist. This notebook is interesting. Wait a sec, I think I found something. Hey, what took you so long, huh? What? Because we were over there with Kim. Yikes! She's gone! She must have been yanked behind this secret wall. There's no time to look for a secret switch. Getting through that wall is a job for the big bad werewolf. Why, that's me, Pud! I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow the wall down! Let's go! Hey, Braniff's got a hidden secret area for a backyard. Look! Help! Over here! It's Braniff, and he's got Kim lacerated in a cage. And if you make one move, I'll push it off this ledge and into the jaws of the Tyrannosaurus. Then it was you who saved the dinosaur in the caverns. Yes. Soon I shall have him trained to obey my every command. Ace Cuckoo, what are we going to do? You can do nothing. I have made your shrieking formula permanent, and I shall use it on all of you so you will never reveal my secret. That's what he thinks. Fangface, you get the dinosaur riled up so he distracts Braniff while Pugsy and I rescue Kim. Yeah, yeah! You can leave it to me! Leave it to me! I got him! 
him! And now, I'll get him! Good work, Fang Face! Duck! Biff and Kim are trapped, and we gotta save them! Ooh, ooh! How are we gonna save them? What are we gonna do, Pugs? Huh? Huh? What are we gonna do? You climb up that tree. I'll catapult you through the air right over to Dinosaurus's head. You pour the shrink of fire on him, and poof! He's miniaturized. Yeah, yeah! You're a genius, Pug. Miniaturized. Ready? Aim! got the dinosaur down to mouse size. Yeah, yeah! I got an itsy bitsy teensy weensy mousesaurus! <laughs> you kids did a great job. The dinosaur's shrunken size will make him much easier to study. But how did Braniff get the dinosaur to obey him? He used this electronic command device just like dog trainers use a dog whistle. And that winds up the case of the miniaturized dinosaurus. Except for one thing. Coochie, coochie. Coo. Time to change back, Fang Face. Look at his picture of his son. Huh? Hey, what happened? How come I'm holding a canary cage with my finger in the mouth of an ugly looking pint sized mouth, huh? How come, huh? Ooh, ooh, ooh! For a pint-sized mouse, he sure has a quart-sized bite! Ooh! <laughs> The NBC Junior Hall of Fame salutes a young swimmer with great potential. From Detroit, Michigan, Mark Shagney. For Mark at age nine, life holds many challenges. Above all, Mark plans an Olympic career like his hero, Mark Spitz. Like Spitz, Mark started winning swimming trophies at an early age. Now nine, he continues to achieve at the state AAU championships. He's already finished five events and done well. In his division, Mark competes with boys nearly two years older. He tries to pace himself through the qualifying heats. He makes the breaststroke finals, but for all his efforts, Mark is worn out. He finishes seventh, but he won't let it slow his career. The tough workouts are the answer. Next year, he'll be older and stronger, and his coach says he'll have a good chance in every event. Until then, he'll build his endurance, swimming three miles a day, six days a week. For his energy and will to succeed, to Mark Shagney of Michigan, a salute from the NBC Junior Hall of Fame. Wizard of Oz, he wanted a heart. What do you want a heart for? To thump and thump. What would you do with a heart, sir? I jump for joy, I jump. I'd be careful of what I eat, make sure it's proper for my heart. I'd never eat things that would make me too fat. That's a good start. But would you exercise? Exercise. Each and every day. If the doctor said it was good for my heart, you betcha, right away. 
You can imagine it's the beat from beyond And nothing can stop it, it's Terron Hey, the command laser! I stopped him! Uh oh he's on the move again! Terron! Here comes stupid Joe Commander! Joe's like stopped him! Look! Terron's on the move again! You can imagine it's the beat from beyond And nothing can stop it, it's Terron! Terron, the beast from beyond, comes with command laser New from Hasbro, Super Joe Commander, sold separately Attach the spider clamp, flip the switch, and the motorized web climber starts him climbing, keeps him climbing. Energize Spider-Man, the spider web trap for lifting and pulling. The spider light, you can watch him climb in the dark and pretend he's searching for the enemy. The power pack turns on the spider copter, sold separately. Energize Spider-Man comes with motorized web climber. Spider copter sold separately by Remco. I like to take a ride very high in the sky with my three musketeers. I can't get far without my fluffy chocolate bar. Three musketeers. Luscious chocolatey nougat whipped up and out. Mmm. Then covered in real milk chocolate for that light fluffy taste that gives your spirits a lift. No matter what's around, that's where I can be found with my three musketeers. <laughs> Way to go, Mo. Play him low, Herc. What do you mean, play him low? I've been playing him low. And I've lost 28 games in a row. Make that 29, Herc. I am the greatest. I am the greatest. Excuse the interrupt. What is it, Sentinel-1? All data indicates the entire North Pole has vanished. Vanished? But that's impossible. Billions of tons of snow and ice don't just vanish. It has happened, and could throw the Earth out of balance, and out of orbit. You're talking about the end of the world! Affirmative, if the situation is as it appears to be. Well, where do we start? How about the scene of the crime? Right, let's get on it! A final warning. Proceed with caution. For one thing is certain, this was no accident. Don't worry, S1. We'll watch our step. If there's anything around to step on. Commence launch.
North Pole. S1, I'm scanning the area. Do you get anything? I detect a horrible magnetic presence. You mean there's something out there? Something invisible? Affirmative. The exact size and shape of the missing North Pole. Hey, maybe the pole actually slipped into another dimension. The energy presence does exist, so it is possible. And you, Mercury, may hold the key to this strange mystery. Me? How? Your speed can match the velocity of light itself, which is, in a sense, invisible. So you want me to crash the dimensional barrier at top speed? If there is such a barrier, you may find nothing, or... Or what? My probes unable to determine what is inside magnetic presence. Mm. Well, whatever it is, I hope it doesn't like Chinese food. You mean you're ready to give it a try? No, but that never stopped me before. Here goes! <laughs> Place this is. Mistress, an intruder has penetrated the dimensional barrier. What? How can that be? His entry has caused damage to the barrier. It is now unstable. Herc, Astria, do you read me? Come in. Ever since Mercury vanished, all I get is this static. Same here. Mercury, are you there? Mercury! Whoever he is, he had to travel at tremendous speed to pierce our barrier. We are spilling power through the hole he created. Barrier growing weaker. We must do something fast. And perhaps this intruder is just the person to help us. S1, we've lost all contact with Mercury and we're plenty worried. Do not jump to hasty conclusions, Astria. My sensors detect mercury has disrupted magnetic barrier. And I may soon be able to probe it. Look, the barrier is weak. It's breaking up, this one. Quick, Herc, now's our chance. We found our missing polar ice cap, but now mercury's gone. Companions and I are known as young sentinels. We protect the Earth using powers that no other humans have, and we... Good Mercury! The three of you will serve my purposes very well. Very well indeed. Sentinel-1! Come in, Sentinel-1! The Force Dome is shielding communications. Well, Mercury's got to be here somewhere. Come on! Two more intruders approaching. Excellent. Excellent. Your friends are outside, Mercury, and they want to play. Now run along. Wahoo! Yippee! <laughs> Mercury! Oh, hey, what are you trying to do, little buddy? Oh, come, uh, come on! Uh, hey, uh, <laughs> Stop it, will you? Come on, enough fun and games. Whoa! What a delightful entrance, my dear. Who are...
are you? I am the sorceress. So you're the one behind all this hocus pocus. Not hocus pocus. Pure science. Follow me. Oh boy, will you cut it out, Merc? This is no time for fooling around. Why are you doing all this? I need vast amounts of energy to power my illusions. But my world has run out of energy. However, my thought probes have discovered what I need in an Earth laboratory. A new invention that will convert any substance into pure energy. With it, my powers will be unlimited. And you and your friends are going to get it for me. You're out of your mind. Am I? Watch. from under this thing. No. I can't hold it. Ah, oh, come on. Quit kidding. I'm not kidding. I feel weak. Whatever you're doing to him, stop it. He's doing it to himself, my dear. Imagination, which I am controlling. Like to see more? I've got to get out of here, huh? I can't move. You don't understand what you see, do you? <laughs> That's because illusions are so simple, they're deceiving. I understand one thing. I'll never let you get away with this. No. Come near my control panel again. You're... you're a living part of this computer. Your sorcery is all electronic tricks, and electronics can be short-circuited. Yes, my dear. But never in a lifetime by you. S1! What am I doing here? Sentinel One. Speed burners, speed down the line. These are speed burners. Just three of the racers from the Speed Burner collection, each sold separately, and they don't need batteries. That spring tension motor makes them move out. Speed burners, each sold separately from the Speed Burner collection by Mego. Boy, sure I'm glad I got you guys to keep me company. You're not afraid of a little thunder, are you, Annie? Well. Hey, it's just a little noise. Why, we make our own noise for Kellogg's Rice Krispie cereal. That's what being a fun part of your good breakfast is all about. Okay, here goes the milk. It's fun to put snap crackle into your morning. Not afraid of a little thunder, are you, Pop? <laughs> what? Whatever gave you that idea? Now, two supernatural thrillers from Walt Disney Productions. Come on! Runaways, find them! Those two kids are witches! Escape to Witch Mountain. Then, return from Witch Mountain. Tony and Tia battle in a deadly game of mind control. Two bewitching thrillers, rated G.
S1, what's happening to you? I don't know what you mean, dearest Astria. Ah! Well, that will keep you out of my way, since you are already prisoners of your own imagination. My darlings. Now, get me the Dalton Energy Synthesizer! All systems ready. We can begin the demonstration now, General. Excellent! Let's get on with it. We can feed this energy synthesizer any ordinary material, like a spoonful of sand. And it's converted into electrical energy. The results are the very same with water. common house dust. Of course, the machine is still experimental and dangerous, but... But it's fantastic! The possibilities are endless! Young Sentinels, what brings you here? Nobody move! Is there something wrong? Do as she says. They're stealing the synthesizer. Impossible, General. I have been monitoring the North Pole region, and they are still there. Look, I know you're not programmed to lie, Sentinel-1, but that missing synthesizer is highly dangerous. If anyone tries to use it, it may overload, and I'm holding the young Sentinels responsible. They couldn't have done it. Lock on all scanners. Full amplification. Focus on North Pole. Yeah! The Sentinel! Negative. They are made of pure energy. Artificial duplicates. As I suspected. Such complex beings could only be generated by extremely powerful intelligence. Probably electronic. Precisely. If we are to assist the Sentinels, we must contact that computer. I'll get right on it! Soon I will have the energy I need to control this entire planet. My powers, I have to concentrate. It's an illusion. You're just an illusion. Mercury, you can beat this thing. Concentrate. I can beat it. 
Astria, what's going on? I'll explain later. First, we have to help Hercules. Time is of the essence, maintenance operator. Done! All circuits rewired. Excellent. Prepare to make computer to computer contact. At last! Quickly! We must install it! My mind's playing tricks again. That's me! No, they're duplicates, and they've stolen the Dalcron energy synthesizer. We can't let her hook that machine up. At the moment, we don't have any choice. Oh. Hurry! I need that power! What's, What's going, going on, S1? Have, have you linked up with the supercomputer super yet? Affirmative. By draining its power, we may give the Sentinels the upper hand. How much longer? This is the final connection, Sorceress. Warning. Emergency power drain. Far Synthesizer's dangerous. <laughs> it certainly is. For you. Meet some of your distant relatives. <laughs> Hercules. Meet Hercules. The machine! It's starting to overload! Uh, uh. Oh, no, you don't! Uh. Oh, oh! Hey, this guy's getting stronger by the second! Hurt! Right, help! <laughs> Hang on, Merc, I'm coming! Stop him! Whoa. be moved clear of the earth immediately that sounds like my department i will drain power from supercomputer perhaps we can force the sorceress back into her own dimension warning power drain power drain you have beaten me this time I will return! And we'll be waiting for you. We did it! We did it! Negative. The energy synthesizer has yet to be disposed of. Okay, Merc. I'll take it from here. And the North Pole is back where it belongs. The whole thing seems like it was all a dream now. Yes, a bad dream. Well, for a dream, it's awful cold. Let's go home. Money.
bunch of 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 Fritos go with lunch. Bunch of 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 Fritos go with lunch. Nothing gives your old lunch a munchy new twist like Fritos brand corn chips. So munchy, so full of good corn taste. Fritos makes lunch much better. Catch Lucky! He's got Lucky Charms! They're magically delicious! Oopsie! I'd make a surfboard and fly it away. Always after my Lucky Charms, the frosted oat cereal with marshmallow surprises. Pink hearts, yellow moons, orange stars, green clovers, and blue diamonds. Helps complete this nutritious breakfast. Mmm, sounds delicious. Mmm, frosted Lucky Charms. They're magically delicious. Dancerella, Dancerella, dancing ballet. You can make her spin when violins begin to play. Back kicks and front kicks, twirling on her toes. Twirling her way through a dance you compose. Dancerella, Dancerella, bows and then. You can make her dance again. Batteries not included. Dancerella, the doll that dances only when her crown is held. You from Mattel. Bionic Woman starts Monday. Hamburgers and hot dogs all together now. After winter snacks, all it's all together now. Hamburgers and hot dogs. Hamburgers and Now save it to Wiener Schnitzel. All during September, get our super deluxe quarter pound hamburger and a medium sized Coca Cola, both for just 99 cents. After Wiener Schnitzel, it's all together now. <laughs> Hold on to your seats, kids. Here we go. The fabulous funny. Like a brand new day, we're here again, spreading sunshine to everyone. We've rounded up all our friends for you. I'm Elliot with a joke or two. The fabulous funny. Abracadabra. Alakazam. <laughs> Broomhilda can make you smile. I know I can. Nancy. And hi, I'm Sluggo. And, and there's, there's lots of fun wherever we go. The fabulous funny. I'm the captain on funny adventures are on their way. They're Hans and Fritz, and we're here to say that we're all going to learn a lot of important lessons today on how to work and how to play. The fabulous funny. So sit right back and put on your smiles. It's a beautiful day. Come on and stay the a while. Fabulous funny. Let's have a good time. What it's do you say? The fabulous funny. There you are, all set to go. The world's greatest comics on our show. Now to help preserve nature's riches, let's call upon one of your favorite witches. Take that! And that! I'll teach you, you no good for nothing! Listen to that room, Hilda shout. Let's find out what it's all about. <laughs> mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest one of all? You are the second fairest. Who's the first? Him. You dirty two-faced hole! Why should I mar my lovely hand? <laughs> Strike one. Oh, 
Cookie Coo! Cookie Coo! It is half past ten o'clock. Bathing beauty swim time! <laughs> Aren't you carrying the mud pack beauty treatment to extremes? Oh, you're a bucket of laughs, Gaylord. Did anyone ever tell you how funny you were? No. Then where'd you get the idea? <laughs> hey, got something. Ooh. Look out, I'm throwing him back. <gasps> Look at this once lovely stream. Yeah! <laughs> now that's what I'd call hard water. Anybody home? Brunhilde, how many times have I told you not to pound on this log? <laughs> Ten times, why? Uh, Mother told me there'd be days like this, but I never knew there'd be so many. <laughs> Do you realize that pollution is setting in on our enchanted forest? Perhaps if you showered more. <laughs> oh, knock it off, Relber. We're in big trouble. The stream behind my cottage is doomed. Stop swimming there, and maybe it'll recover. <laughs> we gotta find out who is polluting the water. Simple enough? Simple enough. Simple enough. <laughs> All you have to do, my square lady, is to follow the stream to the source of the pollutant. <laughs> hey, Grilber, that's a good idea. Part of my charm. <laughs> Love me or leave me? I'll take leave me. <laughs> so long, Grilber. Oh, that Grilber. I'd like to get him a job on a fishing boat. As bait! Aha! Zero point off one! <laughs> Dolly's doily boutique! <laughs> All right, where's the fire? In your big blue eyes, water. <laughs> kitchy, kitchy, coo! <laughs> you can't go in there without a slip. Oh, you devil! <laughs> Not that kind of slip. You need a pass. A pass? Who well, thought you'd never ask? <laughs> Gimme! Get out of the area, or I'll call the National Guard. <laughs> Dolly's executive office, no solicitors, says you. Okay, let's talk, Dolly. Oh, who let you out? Careful. Knock you sensible. Okay, okay. Uh, what's on your alleged mind? This! Your mangy plant is polluting my beautiful forest stream. Oh, that. <laughs> well, what's good for Dolly's doily boutique is good for you. <laughs> That's no good for anybody. We have to have it, lady, if we're going to have product. <laughs> what's this product that's so vital? I am proud to announce that Dolly's doily boutique is the sole producer of uh, toupees for bald eagles. <laughs> I am going to leave my footprints in the sands of time. Oh, you leave our heel marks. Sorry, you can't stay longer. Listen, you bald-headed creep. You're going to stop polluting my stream or else. And stay out. So, you want to play building and loan? Okay. I'll get out of your building and you leave me alone. 
so this creek, Dolly, is polluting our stream. Just so his seedy factory can produce crummy toupees for extra profit. And there's nothing you can do to deter him, right? Wrong! The cure's right in here. <laughs> One million, two million, <laughs> three. Surprise! Ah, you again. Plus, guests! <laughs> Yes, Dolly, this is your life. M -m 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 Mother. And this is... Yes, Dolly, you as a child. Oh. And moving right along, you, Dolly, when you were a baby. Oh. I magically brought back your past, Dolly, to show you how you once cared. Take it! Oh, Dolly, my son. <laughs> Not you. Oh, Dolly, remember what you wanted to be when you were a little boy? <laughs> That's right, son. An Eagle Scout. And you promised to protect and love all outdoors. Dolly, my son, that is not the way to a better new world. Yes, beloved Dolly, it is not too late to make amends. Stop your mad quest for fortune. Stop your mindless pollution of our resources. Stop! <laughs> Stop already. <laughs> <laughs> I promise to be a good boy. <laughs> I mean, eagle. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, light up the band. Fire a salute. I've seen the light. I won't pollute. Hooray, hooray, the light dolly scene. Boom, the stream will be blue and clean. <laughs> You heard me. Oh, Dolly's gonna straighten up and fly right. You bet. I trust so. My next move is noise pollution. Needless noise has got to be cut down. What's the first step? A short one. Sweet dreams, sour prince. <laughs> Hilda, you're the salt of the earth, and would I like to sprinkle you around? <laughs> Broomhilda's ideas are right on. Save our world before it's gone. Now let's see what the noise is about as the captain yells for the inspector to come out. Hey, inspector, get on the dog hearted ball. If the captain keeps catching fish too small, there'll soon be no more fish at all. Stop with the dog hearted noise, you little feathered fiends. Right done? Must you always be late? Schnell! <laughs> I mean, hurry! <laughs> <laughs> Ding bust that oversized loafer! <laughs> faster! Faster! The fish will be leaving for school! <laughs> Get it? School! Fish! <laughs> well, I thought that was a funny joke. <laughs> you are alone in your thoughts. <laughs> now hear this. Deploy the fishing apparatuses. <gasps> <laughs> Dumb cough! <laughs> Dumb cough! Now, all we got to do is haul in tons of tender little fishies. <laughs> and sell them to the highest bidder. <laughs> Remember in school what the teacher told us? Yeah, 
If little fishes are caught, and there won't be any big fishes either. <laughs> Soon we will be up to our knees in tender little towns. <laughs> yeah. Quick, there's no time to waste. Let's go. How do I look? Fishy. <laughs> Crystal. Oh, and a bear. Boy, what a hole! <laughs> what music the scales will play on the cash register! <laughs> oh! Captain on his backpack! Oh, the creature from the Blue Lagoon! Watch it, brother! We are, I, I mean, I are a fish demon. Oh, please, Mr. Fish Demon, we didn't do it. Honest, we wouldn't tell a lie. Then what are you doing, Mitter? I mean, my little relatives. We, we, we can explain. Ah! By catching little fishes, you destroy the balance of nature. And the big fishy population will shrink to nothing. Go home, fishies, go home. There you are, running away when there's work to do around the house. What are you wasting time here for? This sea demon, there. Oh! Sea demon? You see demon, I see nodding. I give you sea demons. <laughs> I got better things to do than this. I still got to bake hearts on Fritz's favorite pies and cookies for lunch. Those darling little angels. <laughs> By slowing down the fishing pace, Hans and Fritz help nature from going to waste. <laughs> Let's see how nature is protected when Ali is the protector selected. Ali, what is deep purple and green with 12 legs? Purple and green with 12 legs? I don't know. Why are you asking? Because there's one crawling on your shoulder. <laughs> Denny, if anybody ever puts a price on your head, take it. <laughs> Ruining our land? Where are those mugs? Hey, you seen anything of a scared dino, huh? <laughs> dino? What do you want with a dino? I'm collecting dino hide rugs, man. <laughs> wall to wall. Yowie! Look, I think you better ease up. Oh, yeah? Why? I'll fill you in, pal. Dinos are getting scarce. Heavens to Betsy. You mean in another hundred thousand years there might be a shortage? For another thing, you're ripping the whole country with your doom buggy. <laughs> doom buggy. Did you hear that? He said a funny. Oh, you're giving me a dirty look. You may have a dirty look, but I didn't give it to you. <laughs> Yahoo! Let's go! Who do you think you are, Henry the Eighth? That's Henry the Eighth. In your case, it's eight. Woman, you got enough mouth for another row of teeth. Your Royal Highnesses, I bear good news and bad news. 
First, the good. The citizens of Mu have voted King Guz and Oompa their favorite rulers. What's the bad? After Attila the Hun. Well, none out of one ain't bad. What are the tidings from my subjects? We, the unhappy citizens of Mu, wish to protest the fearfully high taxes imposed on us. Never mind the rest, Wiser. If they want economy, they gotta pay for it. <laughs> All right, Allie, what's your beef? Hunters in their doom buggies. They're overrunning the land. Oh, come on. Weren't you two ever young? Not that young. The whole land's getting stripped of grass and bushes. So? When the rains come, we'll have big mudslides. That's what. Picky, picky. Look, clown. If Allie feels so strongly about it, turn the job over to him. I'll do this my own way, woman. Tell you what, Allie. I'm turning the job over to you. Thuggo, you're gonna have to eat them. Despite the recent times of strife, Allie is here to save your life. Hey, what you know? We got us a poet. I'm getting out of the wet. I'll take care of you later. Hold it! Get lost! Don't go in your cave! And stay out here with you drips! You numbskull! You messed up the ground, and now the rain's gonna bring mudslides to block off the cave! Allie's smart. Allie's quick. And Thuggo, well, his head's too thick. I'm getting in where it's dry. Life. 
just so you can fix up all the damage you've done. <laughs> Ellie and Thuggo have just shown that nature's balance should be left alone. We can avert disaster unforeseen by keeping our world unspoiled and clean. <laughs> Playtown has over 150 different Fisher Price toys on display at low, low prices. Playtown has all the great games from Gabriel, like a Fell and Touche, plus the Lone Ranger. From Hasbro's Potato Head to the famous Weebles people, you'll find more at your Playtown store. Playtown stocks all the Kenner toys like Stretch Armstrong and Star Wars. They'll put you in orbit. Playtown wants to be your toy store. Playtown wants to be your toy store. Say good morning with a big old speck. Dig em. Just one breakfast starts like that. Kellogg Sugar Specs. Dig em. Toasted wheat plus eight good vitamins. Kellogg Sugar Specs. Dig em. I dig Sugar Smacks. <laughs> What's wrong with that frog's airplane? Engine croak. <laughs> They're part of your good breakfast. Kellogg Sugar Specs. That's a dig em smack. When Kelly Webster risked her life to rescue a strange insect creature, she was endowed with the powers of all insects. Powers enabling her to help others throughout the galaxy as Web Woman. Guided by the wisdom of Scarab, her mentor from a distant planet, and assisted by her partner Spinner, Web Woman battles evil in all its many forms. Web Woman. <laughs> What are we stopping here for? I want to get to that treasure before anyone else does. Oh, senor, please. The bearers, they're getting paid. Oh, hey, what is that? <laughs> Come on, let's take a look at that temple. Hey! Go ahead, run! I don't need you! What in the world? Treasure. I hope Mother Nature will treat your garden more kindly this time. Oh, Spinner! All those seeds! It's the web call, Spinner! Let's go!
dressed this way, she's Diana Prince. But beneath that beautiful gown, it's Wonder Woman. And now Wonder Woman comes with flyaway action. Wonder Woman, you can make her fly. Wonder Woman, complete with flyaway action and costumes by Miko. Doghouse comes with Snoopy and Woodstock. New from Robber Room. I am here, Scarab. There is danger, Kelly. 900,000 years ago, friendly aliens on a distant planet sent a spaceship to Earth. It has been found by a greedy, ruthless man called Tsetse, a man who will unleash powers that can destroy the Earth. You must stop him. I'm not sure what he means either, Spinner, but it sounds like a job for Web Woman. Insects of the world, small creatures of the cosmos, lend me your powers now! secrets of this place, I'll be more powerful than anyone alive. This must be the spaceship Scarab told us about. And I'll bet those consoles could clear up some of the mystery. But how should we... <gasps> of course! The colors of the spectrum. Violet, blue, green, yellow. Greetings, people of Earth. We have sent this recording from our world, a world far more advanced than Earth's. Ready to contact Earth with a message of goodwill and a sharing of our knowledge. But what if the Earthlings are not as advanced as we? Power is dangerous in the wrong hands. That is why we devised a test. The rocket's three stages will fall on different parts of the planet. If the Earthlings can't decipher our clues and find the statue's eyes, then we will know they are not worthy of their knowledge. But even if they find the statue's eyes, they still may not be worthy. Don't worry. The statue will not allow this power to be misused. You are 
the second Earthling to activate our computers. The second? Earlier, one of your species activated the computers out of sequence. He has received an incorrect energy burst. He is dangerously unpredictable to himself and your world. This computer cannot say where the next I is. The only clue we can give you is this. An I in a triangle. Hmm, I know. It's the Great Pyramid of Cheops. Thank you, Web Woman. Now that you've solved the riddle, I'll be on my merry way. No, you don't, Cece. You'll need more than a rope to snare me, Web Woman. No human can move that fast. I'm not human anymore, Web Woman. And when I find the two eyes, I'll be far greater than you. You're right, Spinner. Come on. We'll catch him in the web trap. I'll be the most powerful man on Earth. What? Nice catch, Spinner. Cece, <laughs> your treasure hunt's over. Big hero, uh, Web Woman. You're as greedy for power as I am. On the contrary, Cece, I'm saving your life. You're fooling with powers you don't fully understand. Don't give me that. Spinner, there's an image forming. Maybe a clue to the location of the second eye. I need your help, my friends. A Chinese temple. Of course! Come on, Spinner, we're heading for Hong Kong. No, you're not. That sound! Now I know why they call you Spinner. Watch me fool Fred into giving me his cocoa pebbles. Hello, Fred. Hi. You looked so alive yesterday. How can I make it up to you for the times I didn't treat you right? Cocoa pebbles. Here, Bon. You always love cocoa pebbles. Mmm, heavenly flavor. Barney, we're going to be late for the costume party. Costume party? You're no angel. You said it, Fred. <laughs> House cocoa and fruity pebble cereals, a great tasting part of a balanced breakfast. young ladies can now create fashions with fashion plates. You can change tops, bottoms, and hairstyles. Fashion plates. You can give them any color you want and even choose different textures. You can make hundreds of fashionable combinations. It's got all those fashionable traits and they call it fashion plates.
Fashion Plates comes with 15 different plates and 8 coloring pencils, paper not included. It was that sound. My gosh, Spinner. What happened? <laughs> Don't worry, Spinner. We'll be on Cece's trail in a minute. to find Cece's location. Let's contact our friends. <laughs> Cece's powers came from the insect world and he's using them wrongly. The insects know it and they'll help us get the bead on him. Got it. Keep the web track right on that beam spinner. <laughs> the temple. The insects will guide us in. You're right on time, webwoman. It's in here somewhere, Spinner. You won't have it for long, webwoman. Come, my termite friends. I need your aid. Spinner, those are termites out here. Come on. Spinner, get it. That should keep her busy for a while. And now for you, furball. Come, creepy, crawly, and itchy creatures. I've won! <laughs> he has to place the second eye in the statue. We can still stop him. Must correct. We will eradicate the evil before leaving. Something's wrong. <laughs> My power's weakening.
cobweb woman. I need no thanks, Sissy. Just remember that the greedy often lose more than they gain, especially when they strive after total power over their fellow creatures. I guess I had to learn that the hard way. What happened to it, Scarab? It returned to the distant galaxy from which it came. The people of Earth are not yet ready for such encounters. But we will, Scarab, someday. <laughs> well, some of us will.